When you're walking down the street, do you ever look down? This is why you should be excited about Japanese manhole covers. Hello, my name is Nicole Romaniere. I am the IFAC Honda Curator for Japanese Arts at the British Museum. And welcome to my corner. What I'm really excited about is our latest acquisition. It's a manhole cover um, from the city of Nagaoka in Niigata Prefecture. If you're walking along the street in Nagaoka and you look down, you will see a prehistoric Jomon pot. 5,000 years ago, these fantastic flame pots were, were the symbol, have become the present day symbol of ancient Japanese culture, and they are on the manhole covers in Nagaoka. Now we call it a manhole cover, to be honest, it's actually um, for wastewater. It's a wastewater um, um, cover. But in Japanese, do you know how you say manhole cover? Manhoru. It's called manhoru. And a special type of manhoru, manhole cover, is the design manhoru. And these are designed manholes um, covers. This boomed in Japan in the 1980s, but particularly in 1990, and Nagaoka was right on it. And in 1990, the city decided they were going to have a design manhoru. And lo and behold, by April 1991, they'd come up with various different um, ideas. And one was this spectacular one that we have now in our collections. So I went to Nagoka and we were, I was walking along the road and I stepped on a manhole cover and I looked down and there was a Jomon pot on this manhole cover. I thought, this is amazing. This is something quite important. We did an exhibition with Nagoka and Nagoka lent us two fantastic flame pots and um, eventually um, through various different negotiations, we actually got in the museum to borrow four Jomon flame pots that are now on long-term loan display in the Mitsubishi Corporation Japanese galleries. Jomon period flame pots are these prehistoric, fantastic, phantasmagoric um, pots with different types of protrusions on them. These pots were made about 3000 BC. It's a Neolithic period and they draw you in. There's one though that is the best one. It's from Iwanohara and I have right here a 3D copy of it. This wonderful thing made out of clay looks real. It isn't. It's a modern replica made with 3D printing from the Iwanohara um, excavated flame pot. The pot here would have been used for stews, for um, all sorts of boiling. You can imagine this in the hearth, water boiling, soups, stews boiling, steam coming up, and these protuberances kind of intermingling with the steam. It would have been really spectacular. It's called a flame pot, but actually I think of it more as water, this kind of rippling waters. And you can kind of see this kind of chicken pattern right here, or this bird pattern right here. The more you look, in fact, the more you see. And this beautiful um, image is actually depicted on the manhole cover itself. So in pride of place at the bottom right. Now on the top right, you have a, um, a display of fireworks. And then on the top left, you have um, a, a castle. It's modeled on Aizu Wakamatsu Castle, but it's actually a depiction of the reconstruction of um, the local history museum of Nagaoka, the Kyodo Shiryokan. And then below it, you have azalea, so azalea bush, which is a local um, famous flower. So you have the four famous products of Nagaoka packaged together in this wonderful um, manhole cover. What is exciting for me in particular is that the Mitsubishi Corporation Japanese Galleries here, where we display the objects, and is about looking at Japan from the past to the present. And I like to think of it as from the present back to the past. And so this is um, very much part of what we're doing and our collecting practices here is to go back and forth and help us understand the past through the present and help us understand the present by understanding the past. Our manhole cover is very much part of that trajectory. I think if you come and look at our manhole cover um, with, from Nagaoka with its flame pot, with its various different patterns on it, you will never look at the street in the same way again. This was my Curator's Corner. I hope 
that you are excited about the manhole cover, you can go on collections online and come and find out about it. But even better, if you're in London, come to the Japanese galleries. They're on the fifth floor. I like to think of it as the crown of the British Museum at the very top. To go up there, you have to want to go up there. You don't go through the Japanese galleries to other galleries. It's a destination, and I hope it will be your destination.